Craig. Uh, I just want to move on. Horse Sports Ireland, uh, they do get so much money every year, and I know it's increased from 2016, 2 million, 2016, 2 and a half, uh, 17, yeah. and, two, and, and I think it's gone up to uh, uh, 3 this year. And we, we met them as politicians, we met them there before the budget, and they showed the Indican report, even that was done in 2016, said that there's great potential in this, you know, yeah. where the return of a thousand times uh, a return of taxpayers' money spent will get back because yeah. of horses, show jumping, selling horses. The, and do they get proper recognition for what they do here in Ireland compared to Warren O'Gough and Warren O'Gone, when they're only getting three million this year? Uh, um, you know, should they be getting more money? As oh, I said, horse sport Ireland. Uh, yeah, horse sport Ireland. Yeah. Uh, because the, the return, and I have it all here, and I put in a parliamentary question on it lately, uh, and yeah. the Minister. Uh, they maintain if they got more money to be a thousand pounds, a thousand times in, uh, money coming back uh, to the country by export, and, and um, in Kilkenny in particular, we have some great show jumpers, and we've got three gold medals in, in the recent sports. So, yeah. so it is a big seller of uh, horses and a big, a big uh, uh, feather in our cap uh, all over the world. Uh, show jumping is that. Yes. Yeah. Well, it, so in in a way, that's that's it's kind of a policy question you're asking me. But I don't I don't, I don't intrude on policy. But I don't mind saying something about the background of this, if if, if if you wish. So I mean, it's a historical reality that we had a horse and greyhound fund, and that from a statutory perspective, perspective that fund was directed towards the thoroughbred horse sector, and and uh, and and the greyhound sector. So that's that's the way the legislation is written. Um, I mean, we've had approaches from various bodies over the last few years, uh, uh, you know, explaining that they have significant potential for economic development. And many of the cases we see have merit, but of course we're constrained by the funding we have. Uh, and it'd be nice to be able to help everybody to the extent they wish, but that's just not possible. Um, in the context of Horse Sport Ireland, um, there was an effort to kind of cohere their efforts uh, into a kind of strategic policy plan and Minister Coveney at the time actually uh, organised a committee and the, the, the body established a strategic plan for the, for the industry, uh, Just reach, re, reaching, new heights, yeah. reaching new heights. And then as a, as a condition I suppose of additional uh, funding, the department commissioned a report by Indicon to look at the structures in Horseport Ireland, because it's an unusual thing. It's a company limited by guarantee. It was established in 2007. It's an amalgamation between the Equestrian Federation of Ireland and what was the Irish Horse Board. And it had, I think, uh, 27 different affiliate bodies, all of whom were on the board. So it, while it, that had strengths from the point of view of representative uh, nature, it, it wasn't good from the point of view of structuring a board and developing a strategic plan. So. So Indicon was written, the board has been restructured. Uh, we still have representative, representatives of all the affiliates in advisory subcommittees, but that work has been done. And bit by bit, the department has been increasing the funding. Um, it's gone from 2.5 million in 2018 to 3 million in, uh, in 2019, 4 million in 2020. And HSI also gets funding from the Department of Tourism and Sport they because do. they get so. What the department provides is essentially for the development of breed, um, and what sport provide is for the development of the sport. So, so I mean, obviously, there's a policy question there. We'll be coming into an Olympic year soon, and I know that our show jumping team and our dressage team have both qualified for the Olympics. Yeah. But our department won't be providing funding for that.